Hello, everyone. I hope you're doing exceptionally well today. My name is David Moffat. I'm the Senior Debt Relief Specialist here at Four Pillars Halifax, servicing the Atlantic region. Today, we're going to be covering the four things you should know before filing a consumer proposal. Now, we get questions all the time, uh, but these are going to be the four things that I think that you should know before you consider filing a proposal. The first thing you should know is that in the overwhelming majority of cases, despite what creditors say, they will absolutely negotiate with you and accept a deal when you file a proposal. Now, time and time again, we have clients tell us that their creditors, uh, they call them up, they say, hey, I'm considering filing a proposal. And their creditor says, well, we won't even do that. We don't do those things. Uh, in most cases, that just simply isn't true. Um, now, you know. The second thing you need to know before you file a proposal is that a consumer proposal and how much you pay is based upon what's known as your hypothetical bankruptcy value. This is a calculation that is done, and we wrote a blog article on it, we'll include it in the description below, that determines how much you would pay and how much your creditors would receive if you filed a bankruptcy. And thus, if you want to file a proposal, you typically offer your creditors more than that. And so the first step, determine that bankruptcy value, that hypothetical bankruptcy value. And then second step, determine how to structure an offer that you think creditors would accept. The third thing you should know is that the terms of a proposal are very, very flexible. So for my self-employed individuals out there, for my seasonal workers um, that are out there, you can make uh, the payment terms uh, match how your income comes in. So for example, if you make the bulk of your money in the summer, Less in the winter, you could uh, ask that creditors accept larger payments in the summer, lower payments in the winter. Um, you could theoretically um, you know, have a couple months where there's no payments if there's going to be limited to no income and then larger payments elsewhere. Um, the world is your oyster in the terms of payments, as long as it's within reason, of course. Not, obviously, not every single circumstance will fit, but the overwhelming majority of them will. Um, and that's what uh, a lot of people just simply aren't aware of. They think that a proposal has to be this rigid, you know, five-year payment plan. And that's not true. You can uh, make payment, payment plans a little bit more flexible for you. The fourth thing that you should know is that you can absolutely, and it would be encouraged to obtain your own representation and your own advocacy when you're looking to file a proposal. Now, every proposal that's filed in Canada has to be filed by a licensed insolvency trustee. They're essentially like a referee of a hockey game. Their job is to ensure that both sides play fairly, but their job is not to make sure that one side wins over the other. When you hire a company like Four Pillars, we act as a coach in your corner to help you get the best possible outcome well, within reason, of course, because creditors are still there, how you structure a file, who your creditors are, what the mix of them are, how they voted in the past, what uh, we know um, they're willing to accept, uh, at least based on past events. Um, all of this stuff comes into play. Then further to that, you have to know, well, which trustee to use. Every trustee that's out there interprets the Bankruptcy and Insolvency Act a little bit differently. And so from one trustee to another trustee, you could pay thousands of dollars more or less. All of these things are critical when you're designing a proposal that best fits your situation. Um, so we highly recommend you get your own representation. So everyone, those are the four main things that you should know before filing a proposal. If you like the video, like the video. If you dislike it, dislike it. If you dislike it though, all I ask is you leave a comment below and letting me know why you dislike it. We'll have a dialogue, we'll have a discussion. And please subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content just like this. Thank you very much. Have yourself a wonderful day. Bye.